Shalom WJC family. It's time for our weekly Torah talk. This week in Shul, we will read Parshat Bamidbar. Uh, of course, uh, Bamidbar starts the book of the same name. Bamidbar means in the wilderness. But in English, the book is called Numbers. It's called that because it both begins and ends with a counting of the people, a census. God tells Moses to count every individual in the 12 tribes and then all of the Levites. We say all of the individuals. In fact, the people are counted by the, in, in a, the patriarchal system that is uh, dominant in most of early Judaism. God, in fact, commands to count all the men of fighting age, about between the age of 20 and 60. And then we can extrapolate from that about how many of the rest of the people there are. But it's a little different for the Levites after they finish counting the 12 tribes. Remember, Levi is not included as one of the 12 tribes. Um, there are two tribes of Joseph, Ephraim and Manasseh, and Levi is separated out since Levi will not get an inheritance when the Jews reach the promised land. So uh, the Levites are counted separately, and they are counted from one month up. Uh, so the question is, why the difference? What are we to learn from it? And why the counting in the first place? And the answer is that the counting tells us not so much about the kinds of Jewish law we'll learn in many other parts of the Torah. The counting tells us a little bit about derech eretz, about what it is to be a mensch. So first of all, the counting of the people reminds us that every person counts. Now, I know this is a slightly ironic message to learn when, in fact, they did not count every person. But I think uh, in its time, this even this was progressive. To worry about individuals at all, even if it's counting by family units, let's say, um, and not to make uh, apologies for the Torah, but uh, obviously today we would count all the individuals. Um, this was a progressive idea at all. The idea that every person or every family counts and needs to be paid attention to. Of course, God can pay attention to every person. God is telling Moses, you need to count every person. Every person counts. And God is recognizing that this is a common uh, uh, flaw of leadership, a common flaw as people face the world. They tend to lump everyone together. And everyone loves humanity when it's all together. But when it's broken down into, into groups, maybe, maybe not as much. Uh, as, uh, as Linus famously said in the Peanuts cartoons, right? I love humanity. It's people I can't stand. Well, the Torah is saying that's not okay. That derech eretz means that we have to count every person and that it is the individuals who matter and to whom we have to pay attention. Maybe that's why we have the Levites separated out. Maybe that's why we have each of the 12 tribes counted individually. And maybe that's also why we are given the rule that the Levites need to be counted from one month. Rashi, uh, the biblical commentator, brings a midrash on this. He says, um, Moses protested. He said, how am I supposed to count infants who are still nursing? The implication of the Midrash is that nursing happened in a special tent to maintain the modesty of the mother and maybe of the child as well. Moses says, what am I supposed to do? Just run into these nursing tents and count the infants? Well, God already told him, count all the, all the Levites from age one month and up. But Moses knows that that cannot be the proper interpretation of the text, of the command, because God wouldn't tell him to do something that was counter to derech eretz, that was counter to the way we're supposed to behave. And guarding people's modesty, not barging into a tent where a mother might be nursing, that is just derech eretz, that is um, common courtesy. And so all of these reminders, counting every person, right, not barging into the tents where there's infants, counting every tribe, 
uh, and, and separating, recognizing that it doesn't matter which tribe people are from, that they all matter and they all count. All of these things are common aspects of Derech Eretz. And so what Bamidbar becomes, what this idea of a census becomes, is a reminder as Torah is revealed to us, as we learn what we believe to be God's will, that Derech Eretz, that common courtesy, that respecting um, everyone, that having manners um, towards everyone is the most important thing. And if the Torah seems to be con contradicting Derech Eretz, then we are interpreting the Torah incorrectly because the Torah is supposed to make us better. The Torah is supposed to teach us how to be in the world in a way that's respectful, in a way that honors God and all of God's creations. And that requires basic human courtesy, common decency, a category that we would call derech eretz. And as we enter this book of Bamidbar and we share another Shabbat together, uh, I wish you a Shabbat Shalom and pray that we can all remember that Derech Eretz is a prerequisite to the Torah, not something additional if it's convenient. As long as we all pursue the Torah in a way that seeks to make us better and make the world better, then we'll know we are interpreting Torah correctly. May we all do so. May we all become better through our love of Torah, our connection with God, and our connection with our Jewish faith.